Hey guys, George over here, and today we are going to continue this series in Java tutorials. And well, by now the last video, uh, the thing that we learned was about uh, how to create arrays and access uh, values inside arrays. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to put that in practice, also with uh, loops. Okay, so we're going to be using loops to access all the values inside this array that I have over here, which uh, goes from uh, one to ten and I will do that uh, in the following way so just uh, put attention and learn so I'm going to use a for loop and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a variable called index that is going to start at 0 okay and it's going to start at 0 because 0 is basically the first position in every array okay so that will give us uh, some access to the first position so keep that in mind now the condition in which we're going to go through all this array is that the index is always uh, less than the size of the array so the way to access the size of the array just go ahead and type in the name of your array in this case it is x without the uh, square brackets and type in dot length okay so this method over here will give us the length or the actual size of this array and after that uh, the last uh, thing that we want to do is that we want to increase the index by one on every iteration inside this loop uh, if you go ahead and write this code and you print out uh, the value of x at the current index what you will get is all this array printed out in our console, okay? Each and every value inside this array. So go ahead and write, uh, I mean, on run this program, and you will see over here that you're getting one through all the array all the way to 10, okay? So I don't know what happened. Okay, here it is. So you can see that. That is uh, really great. You can also uh, do it backwards, for example you can say that index is going to start at the last uh, position of the array so that will be the size of the array minus one and the index will need to be greater or equals than zero okay so we'll go through the last position all the way to the first one which is zero and we'll be decreasing the index by one on every iteration okay so we will see instead of uh, one uh, to ten we will see ten all the way through back uh, I mean to one all the way back uh, to one okay so go ahead and run this code what you will get is start with 10 the last number in this array and you will end up at one okay so this is a way to go through the array using the for loop uh, but we can also use the while loop and I'm going to do it uh, uh, this way I will show you in a minute okay first of all I will need to create the index uh, variable so int uh, index equals zero and after that I will use a while loop and I will say okay I'm going to be using the while loop while index is less than x dot length so it's basically the same condition that we used inside the for loop except that we're going to be using well, while instead of uh, for okay so we can do that just like that and uh, every time we want to end uh, the uh, every iteration I mean uh, you will increase the index by one by using uh, the increment operator over here so if you run this code you will get the exact same result as the first for loop that we used uh, but uh, it is done in a different way so I guess uh, guys that would be all for now now the only thing that I want uh, you to know right now is that you can also uh, create for example these arrays uh, let's say in the other way that I uh, thought you how to do it for example x equals new integer with a size of uh, let's say I want this array to be capable of storing 10 numbers but you can also not only print out the values, you can also assign values to this array. So you can use some logic, for example, let's say x at the index position is going to be equals to index times 2. And after that, uh, you can actually print out the result, which is going to be x at the index. 
and you will get an interesting uh, series of numbers over here. So run, run this program and you will get, for example, all the pair numbers uh, from 0 to 18, uh, or you can also start, for example, at index uh, plus 1, so you can avoid having a 0 over here. So it will be index plus 1 times 2, and you will get your array to be the following. Uh, it will be all the pair numbers now from 2 to 20 and you can also do a lot of fun uh, stuff with this you can for, you, you could for example say okay I'm going to use index plus one but multiply it by the same index plus one okay so that will be really interesting because we're going to get uh, like the power of that index uh, currently so if you run this program you will get for example one then four then nine sixteen and well all the power of uh, power of one two three the three to the power of two so that will be really interesting ways of getting a new series uh, to get uh, inside your array so you can also create uh, well creative <laughs> values uh, to put inside your array and okay so you can create some interesting series so that will be all for now guys i hope you did uh, like this tutorial if you did don't forget to click on the like button below you can also leave uh, some comments and subscribe to my channel for more videos here in my channel okay so see you later have a nice day bye bye